Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Adam Snyder here, the Homemade Entrepreneur. Today, I just want to talk to you guys about uh, how I make so much money with Amazon FBA. Um, I talk a lot uh, to some clients and, and every once in a while I'll talk about it here on YouTube. And I talk about uh, knowing what you make per hour. And that's, that's very important because you know if, if you're working a 9 to 5 job or whatever it may be, you're making 15 25 dollars an hour or maybe you're making minimum wage doesn't matter but what matters is you know what you're making you know okay I'm making 15 dollars an hour I'm working 40 hours a week this is how much money I need at the end of the week uh, in order to survive in order to pay my bills in order to do all that stuff without knowing that how do you know how much stuff you have to go buy for Amazon you know if you need to make you know a thousand dollars a week or two thousand dollars a week you need to be able to go out there and buy that stuff, but it doesn't make sense. Why quit your job? Let's say you're making a thousand or two thousand dollars a week. Why go? Why quit your job and do Amazon FBA if you can't make that money? If you can't go out and make just as much money per hour, okay? And obviously, getting started, you're not gonna make as much. But that's the mindset you need to have: is how much money you know, do you need to make per hour in order to make it worth it? In order to get to that point where okay, I can quit my job. Now, with that said, uh, this past weekend, it was 4th of July, uh, it was the 4th of July weekend, uh, went out of town and I hit some stores. And I only did uh, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes of sourcing. Now, with that sourcing, with the sourcing that I did, I end up, uh, when everything sells, um, and I'm pretty sure everything's going to sell, I usually don't buy stuff if I don't think it's going to sell. But once everything sells, I should make about $750 profit, um, and that's in less than an hour. Okay. Now the the way I did that um, with my phone, I usually don't make uh, I don't usually don't make as good a profit if I can go and scan stuff with my phone. I'll grab my phone really quick. Okay. So let's see. So when you're using a phone versus an actual scanner. This is the, the Opticon uh, OPN 2002. Um, very easy to use. Uh, show you that in a second. Um, let me get in the Profit Bandit. So, when I'm using the actual scanner, okay, let's see, scan it. Okay, so my phone's pulling it up. So my phone has a scanner app on it. I'm gonna scan this book right here. Okay, there it went through. And it takes a little bit, okay, and that's up. But if I use this one right here, really quick. I can do that all day long. This makes it a lot faster. I can, I can go through, and you can kind of see it right there. It's, uh, it says Opticon on it. Has a button right here, push it, and uh, I don't have huge hands, that's very small. I have a Samsung Galaxy S5, and you can see the size of this thing, it's pretty small. This is what I use most of the time, you know, just have something like that around. Uh, I'll put up a link to this Opticon, the uh, 2002. Um, there's also a couple other ones I use, I don't know the exact name of them. Um, this is the one I usually carry around. Uh, with me most of the time uh, it's extremely reliable I highly recommend it I will put a link to that put a link to one of the other ones I use um, and I have uh, one of my employees has a different one um, it's about eight hundred dollars and it actually connects to your iPhone um, it's a great one I don't recommend it to a lot of people because it's it's a bigger um, and it looks a little more professional so when you're in the stores scanning stuff the problem is it looks a lot more professional so the people, the associates at the store, they assume you are with another uh, retailer. Like if you go to Target, they think you're with Walmart or you know uh, Kmart or whatever it may be. Maybe Kohl's. It doesn't matter. People start thinking, okay, this guy is he's just scanning our stuff to see what our prices are, and they're going to try to beat it. That's not the case. But you can't really argue with them when you have a thousand dollar or eight hundred dollar scanner right there, and you're scanning all these things and uh, you know, it really looks like, you know, that's what you do anyway. So, 
how I ended up making $750 uh, profit in less than an hour was because I had this scanner, the Opticon uh, OPN 2002. Um, it goes really fast. It doesn't take a whole lot. You, you just saw me do it with the book. Um, so you can go, uh, I bought, what did I buy? Mostly toys. I scanned pretty much everything. I only went to two different stores. I, only, I scanned pretty much everything in one of the aisles at Target. Um, so I scanned pretty much everything. I scanned a lot of stuff at Goodwill. Anything with a barcode, I scanned it. Books, I think I bought about 13, 14 books, something like that. Not very many. Toys, I bought a lot. Puzzles, bought quite a bit. It's hot in here, but anyway. Uh, puzzles, I bought quite a bit. Um, let's see, toys, puzzles, books. Some uh, home improvement stuff. Um, always do good with that. Um, what else did I buy? Uh, some sporting goods. Uh, you know, Goodwill was very good to me this uh, this weekend. Everything, everything that I bought was 50% off. Okay, I, I went to a couple other stores. Didn't uh, I'm not including the profit for those items in this because that was uh, completely different. Um, went out and was doing stuff for family and that was kind of just one of the stops we made but anyway so 4th of July weekend come back $750 uh, pretty much $750 profit in my pocket uh, this stuff will sell fast um, one of the things I'm also doing is getting ready for the fourth quarter people think okay it's July what are you doing getting ready for the fourth quarter you still got a little bit well yeah that's true but the people that are waiting until September October to get ready for the fourth quarter they're behind okay if I can start uh, putting more inventory into Amazon now than in the fourth quarter I will have a lot more money you know in my pocket to put back in Amazon that's one thing on the other thing if you're buying items let's say you're going to Goodwill or a thrift store or Savers Value Village whatever it may be let's say you're going to those stores and you're buying toys and you're buying you know uh, home improvement stuff or kitchen and home and whatever it may be, office, it doesn't matter. You usually go into that store thinking, okay, this is a toy, I'm going to buy it if it has under 150000 for the ranking. Now for the fourth quarter, I don't look at the 150000 I'm up at like four hundred fifty or 500000 because I know it's still going to sell. It's not going to sell as fast as something at one fifty, but it's still going to sell like something at one fifty right now. So 500000 around the holidays, is gonna sell just as fast as something at 150,000 right now. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. You know, if you need, uh, you know, information on like the rankings and stuff like that, or you need some coaching, you know, please let me know. Comment below. I've been trying to get back to everybody that's been asking about it. Um, I've been a little slow because I still have clients that I do stuff with. Okay, so I'm not gonna take my time away from them uh, to get back to everyone else because that's gonna take me away from. What I'm doing with them, and I only have a limited number of spots available anyway. So, uh, if I'm getting back to you, you know, please send me a message uh, because my spots will fill up fast, um, and I only keep a limited number of spots uh, every month. So, uh, that's just so I can help everyone out as much as I can. So, again, if you have any questions, comment below. If you want to be a client of mine, comment below. I'll be happy to, you know, get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, I know I have a couple openings coming up soon. So, uh, yeah, just hit me up. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed on my YouTube channel, click that button right there. Come on today. And make sure you check out the link below. Uh, so, if you want to see the Opticon OPN 2002 and the other one that, uh, if I can remember the name, it's pretty much the exact same size. They're all pretty much the same size. But anyway, check them out. I highly recommend both of them. Uh, any scanner will really work. Uh, help you speed up your sourcing. And, uh, again, any questions, comment below. Not your subscriber, click that button right there, become a date, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Hey, you guys take care.